Hey there, viewers! What happens to your body when you take creatine every day for muscle gain? Are you someone that's looking into speeding up your muscle gains but aren't sure what to do exactly? Perhaps you might have heard about creatine but you're still unclear on what it is, what it does, and how it works. If this sounds familiar to you, then keep watching this video as we attempt to answer all the questions surrounding what creatine is, how it exactly leads to muscle gain, what it does to your body, and the proper way to take it. Creatine, what it's not. Believe it or not, creatine supplements have been used already by professional athletes since the 90s. At least once, you might have heard someone claiming creatine as a steroid. The World Anti-Doping Agency, or WADA, hasn't issued any ban on creatine usage ever since the years it was first introduced, since it's not considered as a steroid. What it really is It's actually a compound naturally found in meat and fish protein that helps all animals, humans included, to help gain muscle, thus boosting your workout performance without having direct anabolic effects. It is also the first and foremost energy source that fuels phosphocreatine pathway, an energy system used for short, high-intensity exercise like powerlifting and sprinting. About 95% of your body's creatine is stored in muscles in the form of phosphocreatine. The other 5% is found in your brain, kidneys, and liver. This natural substance can be produced from two amino acids, glycine and arginine meaning it's something your body is used to getting so you don't have to worry about taking additional quantities of it. It's been a long time since it was first introduced and among all the supplements out there, creatine is backed by science the most. Many studies have shown that creatine is highly effective in improving your overall strength. It is well considered to be a fundamental supplement in fitness and bodybuilding industries compared to training without it. With increased overall strength, you can expect to double your lean muscle gains. However, how to take creatine is not common knowledge. This is why not everyone can maximize its effectiveness. How does creatine work exactly? Creatine works by saturating the muscle with fuel to exert enough energy for continued contraction and consequently less likely for your muscles to experience fatigue. Studies have also shown that creatine decreases muscle soreness and recovery time altogether. It does this by protecting certain cells from oxidative stress, cell death, and increase in myostatin, protein that hinders muscle growth. You might be wondering after hearing all that, is creatine too good to be true? Will there be any side effects at all when I take it every day for muscle gain? Here's what you need to know about the overall effects of creatine consumption every day. Negative Side Effects Creatine is one of the most well-researched supplements available and studies lasting up to four years reveal no negative effects. There is no solid proof that creatine harms the liver and kidneys in healthy people who take the correct dosage. But too much of anything or irresponsible use of anything will certainly lead to health problems like stomach discomfort or bloating. As people associate creatine with asthma, dehydration, and cramps, there is no concrete study on humans to back this up. Benefits of Creatine Muscle Gain Yep, you're right about taking creatine for muscle gain whether short-term or long-term. Combining creatine with exercise or workout helps in increasing muscle mass. In fact, studies have shown that there is significant improvement in resistance training with creatine supplements. It produces lean tissue mass and increases upper and lower body strength during training. Muscle Growth Speed Not only does creatine help with muscle gain, it speeds up the process as well you can see results in just five to seven days. A study on the effects of training and creatine supplement on muscle strength and body mass showed that there is a notable increase in muscle mass to those participants who took creatine supplements during a six-week training than those who did not. Athletic Performance It has been shown that creatine supplement enhances athletic performance. The body stores adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, a molecule that is responsible for storing energy and fueling the cells. Creatine replenishes the body's ATP and therefore gives your muscles the right amount of energy to boost your exercise performance. Exercise Recovery Intense workout and or training can be pretty exhausting for your muscles and tissues. Sometimes it even damages them. Creatine supplementation can help your muscles recover faster after exercising or rigorous training. 
Furthermore, the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition published an article in 2007 that discussed creatine as beneficial for muscle inflammation and soreness. Healthy Aging Now, this kind of healthy aging does not refer to younger and smoother skin. Instead, what creatine does is that it keeps your muscles and bones healthy as you grow older. What good does nice and smooth skin do if your bones and muscles are weak, right? Neurological Improvement Creatine helps in improving brain health and function up to generally 10%. Since creatine can be naturally found in the body and brain, the creatine supplements you take will definitely make use of it. As fish and meat are rich sources of creatine, vegetarians are more likely to have low levels of creatine. A study on vegetarians on creatine supplements showed that their score tests on memory and intelligence have improved up to 20 to 50%. Another study also showed that participants who took 8 grams of creatine supplement for 5 days experienced less mental fatigue while solving math problems compared to those who took a placebo. Suffice to say, creatine is not only safe, it's also beneficial to the human brain. With its ability to replenish ATP in your body, creatine helps you perform mental cognitive tasks more efficiently. Before we move on, a like would be awesome. Protection from Neurological Diseases Creatine neither treats diseases you already have nor completely protects your body from them, but it does help in reducing or slowing the chances of you getting diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Huntington's disease, Parkinson's disease, and epilepsy. When diseases like these hit you, the phosphocreatine levels in your brain are reduced, and you need phosphocreatine because this is what maintains the availability of ATP and maintains the energy of the cells blood sugar regulation. It has been found that the combination of creatine and exercise results in the regulation of blood sugar levels. In fact, those who take creatine supplements have better blood sugar control compared to those who only exercise without creatine supplementation. Reduced fatigue and tiredness. Since creatine has the ability to keep your energy levels up, it also has the ability to reduce fatigue and your levels of stress. A study on people with traumatic brain injuries showed that those who took creatine supplements experienced 50% less dizzy than those without. One study also found that for people that are sleep deprived, the creatine present in your body helps in reducing fatigue. Add a creatine supplement and you won't feel exhausted at all even when you haven't had 8 hours of sleep. There are many more benefits one can get by taking creatine supplements every day. However, we're going to need more studies and research to back them up. For now, these benefits backed up by studies are what we know for sure about what creatine does to the body when taken every day. We also know taking creatine responsibly has little to no side effects. But how can one properly take creatine to boost one's workout? When you're just starting, it's advisable to go through a loading phase to ensure a rapid increase in muscle stores of creatine. Skipping the loading phase will take you three to four weeks before you are able to maximize your stores. To load with creatine, take 20 grams per day for five to seven days. Split the servings into four to have five grams per serving. To improve creatine absorption, it's best to engage in carb or protein-based meals for the added insulin boost. After doing the loading phase, you can start taking creatine normally. Simply consume three to five grams per day. Remember to drink plenty of water throughout the day since creatine pulls water into your muscle cells. Did that clear up any misconceptions surrounding creatine? If you're still unclear about some parts, you can place your questions in the comment section and we'll try our best to answer them. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.